and physically by another student. She claims school officials are not doing enough. The mother and daughter right. spoke with our Jessica Danova, who has this report. We have not done anything for my sixth grade daughter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you talk about attention horn. Really? This what we doing? How much junk is in that trunk? Holy shit. Man, that's not a trunk. That's a chest. Man. <laughs> she got two chests. She got a chest in the front and a chest in the back. <laughs> God, dog. She working with some thing yams. Some yang yam. Make a name on yang yam. Set your drink on that thing and it'd walk across the room on you. Ring in the gang gang. Why would you, 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 drop it like a hot? Shit. Hey. And then look at you and go, my eyes are up here. Off, you're judging her by European standards. So stop. I am. I'm judging her by standards. Remember. You know, she's not overweight, she's body positive. Yeah, man. She's her body is very positive, man. I give her um I'm very I'm very hopeful about her body, man. Salute to my man Steve S, man, coming through once again, man, with the cash app. My man Steve S is is becoming an Oc Nation all-star, man. Salute to Steve S, man. Um, salute to Antoine W with the cash app, man. Salute to you, Antoine. Um, yeah, man. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Keep working with some bang, 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 bang. Um, TCT says, Good evening, knocking panel. Have y'all seen JJ Reddick, Newt Kendrick Perkins for race baiting the NBA MVP race on first take? It's if not, it's hilarious and worth a look. Yeah, we did that. We may get to that a little later, man, if I got some time. Um, there's so much stuff going on, man. I I, I kind of wanted to talk about that, but damn, fucking Sean Kemp just pulled the drive by me. <laughs> I mean, these, these basketball Americans, man, they don't give you enough time to um cover the, all these stories, man. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Um, I wonder if she went south of the border and had that work done. There's no way that's natural. No, that's natural, Jack. That's natural, okay. man. It's, it's called steatopygia, man, or caliphagia. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a um, condition that 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 women in in, in sub-Saharan Africa have. Steatopygia. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna put it in the um. Let me um. Let me just go ahead and show you guys. It's called it's it, it's um. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Let me look it up for you. Here we go. Here we go. The work on what's some thing, yang. Some dang yang, man. You ain't want dang yang, man. Dang yang. Riding rain yang, man. Dang yang. Um, Steatopygia. Okay, steatopygia is the state of having substantial levels of tissue on the buttocks and thighs. This build is not confined to the gluteal regions, but extends to the outside in front of the thighs and tapers to the knee producing a curver linear figure. Steatopygia, a genetic characteristic leading to increased accumulation of adipose tissue in the buttocks region is most notably, but not solely found among Khoisan of Southern Africa. It has also been observed among pygmies of Central Africa and the Andamese people, those are the Andamese people are Southeast Asia, such as the Ongi tribe in the Andaman Islands. This genetic characteristic is prevalent among women, but occurs to a lesser degree in men. 
okay? Among the Khoisan, it begins in infancy and is fully developed by the time of the first pregnancy. Okay? So this is... Um, is that a thing or just something that thick people made up to have an excuse? You say what? Is that a real thing or something just that no. kind of thick people made up? No, it's a condition. It's a condition. So it's not fat, it's some other kind of tissue? Yeah. It's 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 it's, it's a condition. And it's also known as caliphagia. I think um what is it called? What is it called? Caliphagia. Caliphagia. Whatever. Um, yeah, it's very distinctive with the hot and tot and those tribal yes, people. Because remember exactly. that um, I forgot um, the one they brought here to America, yeah. and they put on display and actually dissected her body. And if you look at certain tribes in Africa, they have certain various different shapes. If you look at a lot, I think that a lot of the Ethiopian women, they oh, have oh. that. They Ooh. have a horrible shape where their bottom is like rounder and bigger than their top. They have the same thing, and they also you have a problem. That horrible. Ethiopia, some man love the Ethiopia shape. You call that horrible? But Watch what happens mouth, is, man. by having a shape like that, they have what a lot of times problems with having children with a prolapsed uterus. So it's a very common, um, you know, a certain tribes. And if you look at even in, for example, in Kenyan tribes, the uh, the Maasai people, they look their shapes are totally different than the other Kikuyu people. They're very That's tall. They like to jump. Well, they're That's very tall and they're very slender. They like to jump, yeah. They're, they're the highest jumpers in the world or something. Well, even among European people, there are different shapes because you look at a lot of the uh, Slavic people, they tend to be a lot more on the heavier side than your Nordic Europeans who tend to be taller and a lot thinner. So there's a difference. There's a genetic... Um, yeah, all throughout, the, even, amongst, right. even amongst the races, there's a lot of diversity. Right. Salute, yeah. Um, so yeah, but so yeah, this woman, this this that woman has has I think she has steatophagia. Uh this 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 mom, but she's um she's just trying to get attention because black kids bully each other all the time. The bullying in the the one the bullying in the black school is so bad, it's unspeakable, man. The things that kids did to me when I was younger. And the things I did to other kids, it's unspeakable. I mean, listen, being bullied as a as, as a as a as a son kid in in, in Sunnistan, a lot of people lie about it. A lot of people lie about getting bullied because you know, Sunnistan, you ain't supposed to take no L. Sunnistan, we come from a real macho culture. But I mean, I bullied and I got bullied, so I can't really talk about it. Some people who probably only got bullied and didn't really bully other people, it might be hard for them to talk about it. But oh my God, if you if I just talk about the things I did to people, to other little kids, God, it's just insane. It's just such a terror. And I'm talking about verbal and mental abuse too. I'm not just talking about physical abuse. I'm talking about breaking them down psychologically um, to feel bad about themselves. But um, we tried to do that to our teachers. Yeah, no. We cracked yeah. one. She went to the nut house, and I actually kind of felt bad about that because she had a stroke later. Wow. Yeah, I mean that we we do that too, though. But it's just a, it's just crazy that the bullying that goes on in black schools is just so bad. Um, and she's out doing this protest the one time a white kid bullied the black kid. The mother of a Santa Ana fifth grader says her daughter was racially bullied verbally and physically by another student. She claims school officials are not doing enough. The mother and daughter spoke with our Jessica Danova, who has this report. They had not done anything for my sixth grade daughter. This mother says after feeling ignored, she's left with no choice but to demonstrate outside her daughter's school in Santa Ana and pull her 10-year-old out of the school district. They're sleeping underneath the rug. Jasmine Harris is talking about an incident. Tattoos on her chest. 
weave. But hey, man, I wonder where the father is. I give her, I give her, I give her a break. Let's see where the father is. And listen, I'm not here to judge her in the like as a person. But these it's always the same story. You know what I'm saying? And she's crying out for attention. And she's incurring attention. No one's, I'm not, I didn't peek through her window. I didn't fucking find her phone and fucking go through her fucking text. She's out in front of her daughter's school with a fucking bull, bullhorn blocking traffic. With the skin tightest pants you could ever buy. Exactly. She's left with no choice but to demonstrate outside her daughter's school in Santa Ana and pull her 10-year-old out of the school district. They're sweeping underneath the rug. Jasmine Harris is talking about an incident on March 1st at Santiago Elementary School. Her fifth grader, Paris Barnes, was playing with her friends at lunchtime when she says a classmate whipped a jump rope towards her and told her, quote, get back to work, you slave. It was very disrespectful. Okay. And that's really bad, and yeah, it, it sucks. That sucks. But, ma'am, every fuck, at least 90% of the murders in every city are done by you motherfuckers. Drive-by shootings and shit, robberies, carjackings. It's all you people. Or, uh, let, let's be honest though i mean with kids if you could count how many times kids say nasty things to each other i mean come on god damn as a kid i remember being sent to bed early and just wishing hateful shit on my parents <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're a kid it's gonna be rough you'll get over it you'll get through it and You'll to be, be honest, right. these are a bunch of probably a bunch of girls. So you know it's really nasty. Oh, and girls could get way yeah, nasty. Yeah, worse too. than boys. Yeah. Boys, it gets to a point and then you just throw hands. Yeah. And you know, but girls, they get into fucking plotting and psychological warfare and try to fuck your stepdad or something crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is too much man she must you know what happened what i think is going on this woman put her kid in a a, a school a, away from sons she got her kid away from sons well yeah because now all these libtard uh, school people are probably tripping over themselves trying to get this girl sponsored to go to I, their school i would probably think that this woman sent her kid to a private school thinking, okay, now that we're away from the sun, sun of Stan, we shouldn't have these type of problems. And now that something's going wrong, she's probably like, oh shit, what the fuck? It, it stings more because in Blackistan, I'm telling you, this would be nothing. They would well, be if that was a out. black girl, that, excuse me, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, go ahead, go ahead. If it was a black girl that swung the rope, uh, that's one thing. But if it's a white girl, it's white not girl a something? black girl. If oh, it, yeah. See, it can't be a black kid. girl if they're Becky. doing this. Little Becky. And, and it might have been an ombrita. But here's the thing. Black kids talk about your lips, your hair, you nappy-headed, your mama. Black kids, the stuff we talk about is adult. In first grade, we were talking about each other's mamas in graphic ways, talking about each other's, like, I mean, we just, we were evil in first grade. So I just think that this woman probably sent her kid to a, a glider school, and she knows that they'll care. If this is, and that's one thing we do with you gliders. We know y'all care. And we know that y'all will do something about, y'all will fix wrongs. Y'all will right wrongs. Y'all will, um, 
make things fair. You guys will will, will, will pull Pain people to up. people's feelings. Yeah, we know that some people are doing that shit. So when we get around y'all, we fucking, I mean, the first thing that goes wrong, we whining and flailing and shit and trying to get your attention to show you that, like, because you can make up for all the years and years that our feelings were ignored and our requests were ignored and our, you know, our pain was ignored and there was no empathy or compassion given us to in our time of pain. So you, we try to make up for that shit by dealing with y'all. And hey, Mark, is that San Diego, California? Or, or, or Lake Forest, California? Or? This is Orange County. All right. Yeah, okay. So uh, 55% Hispanic, 24 white, 3% black. So this was probably on Brita. Wow. Santana and pull her 10 year old out of the school oh. district. Santa, Santana, Anna, what's the name of the school? It's the Santa Ana Unified School District. Let me see. Mother and daughter spoke with our Jessica Danova, who has this report. It's at Santiago Elementary School. Okay. This mother says after feeling ignored, she's left with no choice but to demonstrate outside her daughter's school in Santa Ana and pull her 10-year-old out of the school district. They're sweeping underneath the rug. Jasmine Harris is talking about an incident on March 1st at Santiago Elementary School. Her fifth grader, Paris Barnes, was playing with her friends at lunchtime when she says a classmate whipped a jump rope towards her and told her, quote, get back to work, you slave. It was very disrespectful. And I just felt really hurt inside. Mom says she's not satisfied with the response from administrators on campus or staff. God. <laughs> with the Santa Ana Unified School All District. Right, kill the child. Harris has taken to social media demanding answers. She wants to know whether the other fifth grader is being disciplined. I want the little boy to get expelled. I want them to do something about this. Harris. Damn. No compassion. What the no, want that little boy executed. Right. Now, the, the, okay. So there's a Santiago in uh, Santa Ana, California, and it's 91% Hispanic and one less than 1% black. So Umbritos probably did it to her, more than likely. Yeah. I'm, I'm betting. Yeah. But to think that a child should be. And it's some little boy that they... said it. He's probably hot for the girl. No, but my thing about it is this you have this expectation that. A child supposed to be expelled because they said something to her. He didn't threaten her. He didn't put his hands on her. He didn't pull her hair. And you want him expelled? Yep. What is wrong with her? Because didn't that's strike the child with the jump rope. That's, the, that's entitlement. That's the entitlement of being a sun person. Um, well, they want school. police fired for for putting uh, uh, someone in handcuffs while they're screaming, I can't breathe, even though they can breathe easily, you know? So what do you say? Yeah, th this is, um, this school right here is, um, wow, 90, wow. Wow, it's literally one person, less than 1% is black. Less than 1% of the school, they have more Asians, 2% of the population than they have blacks. So her daughter goes to a school with 1% black. And, and it's a 4 it, out of 10. Exactly. So that shows you only a 4 out of 10. That means that it's on Britos. Because if it was 4 out of 10, if it was if it was 91% black, it would be like a 6 or a 7. But um, wow. And why is she dressed like she's a fucking stripper? That's real classy. She wants because that's that's how she dresses all the time. She wants to. She's trying to find a stepfather. She's trying to find a stepfather for her daughter, man. Um, and that's. I mean, she gonna find one. Is being disciplined. I want the little boy to get expelled. I want them to do something about this. Harris tells Eyewitness News because the other student involved is a minor. She went to the Orange County District Attorney's Office to press charges against him, hate crime, and attempt. What? What? Are you serious? Oh, she needs her daughter needs to be expelled. Get get her out of that school. 
she needs to be expelled because you know my thing about it is okay say for instance you're this uptight your daughter's disrespected why not just have a meeting say hey i'd like to have a meeting with the parents we sit down and talk have them apologize and move on you know it seems like some people are just in that sense of entitlement especially from some women it's disgusting this is terrible no glider side coming out of your ap they'll give somebody an inch and they'll take a mile it's the same thing as giving a dummy a piece of string and he wants to be a cowboy. I mean, the he district is. attorney, they have real crimes in that area. They have break-ins. They have robberies. They have murders. How is it that Brink. somebody's... Right. You know, and this is the insecurity part that when we talk to gliders and we try to tell them how black women instill insecurity in their own daughters before anybody else does, this is it. And in all their children, in all of their children. Right, but especially daughters. That's why we have to have a natural hair care amendment. That's why we can't have, we have to have natural crown hair. Act and all that right, the too. crown act, the black skin act, the skin color act, and all this, I mean, uh, the weave act, or whatever. But this is just dumb. Uh, never mind. This is, this right here is a cry for attention. And it's, a, and it's, and it's also a, uh, um, like a, a, a manipulation because she knows that since these people aren't some people that she's banking on the fact that they're going to kowtow to her to her wishes and they're going to fucking acquiesce to her wishes she knows goddamn well she went to some damn sun school and somebody did some shit like that or something equivalent we was grabbing little girls' butts. I remember Freaky Friday. I can't believe nobody remembers Freaky Friday. We had Freaky Friday where every Friday at lunchtime, man, we would chase the girls around and grab their little butts. And it was it was it was it was a free for all because it was Friday. It was Freaky Friday. We got you know what I'm saying, and we would just go around filling butts all day, man, on the playground everywhere, and um, couldn't wait for Freaky Friday, man. This is like first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade. This is young shit. Fights, brutal fights. I'm talking about brutal fights for for little kids, man. She knows. She knows that she's only doing this because these are sons. I mean, wants to know whether son. the other fifth grader is being disciplined. I want the little boy to get expelled. I want them to do something about this. Harris tells Eyewitness News because the other student involved is a minor. She went to the Orange County District Attorney's Office to press charges against him, hate crime, and attempted assault on a minor. A spokesperson with the OCDA's office says they can't comment on cases involving a juvenile. Other parents among about a dozen protesters Monday expressing dissatisfaction with how bullying is handled at Santiago. They see that it's so many kids involved and there's nothing being done about it. There's clearly a systematic issue. The school district superintendent says his staff are working to sit down with and make both families part of a solution, pointing to a formal independent investigation underway. My heart go, uh, goes out to the uh, to Paris, uh, to the young lady, and I just, um, you know, I want to make sure that she feels uh, she gets the support that the student needs, but also making sure that we also provide the support so this doesn't happen again. I'm not really comfortable going back to school because I don't know if he'll do it again because no one really like said if he was going to be in that much trouble. We asked the school district. Oh, so she understands but that if there's, if there's no consequences, <laughs> she understands that this is, <laughs> that's crazy. But she'll oh. go back at, to a school after... Oh, someone gets beat bloody at a at a son school, and you go right back to school and say, "Oh, well, that's just it. That's just how it is." Man, listen, at son school, someone gets beat bloody. That kid doesn't even get suspended. You, if you weren't there, like when it happened, you might hear about it. You know, scuttlebutt goes throughout the school, but you wouldn't even know. It it, it doesn't like change the course of the day. There's no like assembly. There's no like lockdown fights brutal fights especially if they're one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one -on -one or something like that those don't even fucking bleep on the radar if you're not there witnessing it or you're not in the classroom or you're not friends with the people that's doing it those are just non-events in a sun school i got so, called names i got my ears flicked yeah. wow i was there every day 
And one day when they flicked my ears, I pushed him down off the bleachers and I got suspended for, for that day. <laughs> yeah. Just for pushing him away for flicking my ears. Like, yeah. seriously. Kids are going to be kids, man. And she, she, this little girl so lucky to not be in a son's school. She couldn't handle it. She, this little girl couldn't make it. I'm so happy for this little girl because she seems like a very smart little girl. She's very well, very, very articulate. She she's very um thoughtful. And I'm and I hope her mother can um find some sugar daddy or something and get her into a private school, maybe with white kids. Cause you know, if she goes to school with a bunch of white kids, um, if anything happens, like she she'll she there's less likely for these things to happen to her than it is in a school full of um on Ritos. But uh, the thing about it is this this really shameful about this whole situation is these are the same women who don't want son kids who go out and murder and rob people <laughs> charged as adults. Exactly. But you want to get a young kid, ruin his school record to get him expelled because he says something to your daughter and you have an attitude. That's what I was going to say. If you took and made up like a, a fake charge list and went to that woman and said, okay, here's what we're going to do to this 10 year old boy. All right. We're going to expel him. He's not going to be able to go to school. He's going to have to homeschool. Then when he turns 18, we're going to make him register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. And he's not allowed to go to college on grants or anything else. Is that enough, ma'am? She still wouldn't what be satisfied. What do you think her response would be? <laughs> she wants him strung up by his thumbs in the town square. <sighs> Shit, man. These people, man, I tell you, man, I tell you, man, you glad as a, this is what Scott Adams was talking about. This school is 1% son, 1% son, and you got this shit. Other parents among about a dozen. <laughs> you got this shit, you got her outside with a fucking bullhorn screaming at traffic. Imagine how fucking bad that's making everybody in the school look. That's making this place, if I drove past, I'd be like, God, that's a dreadful place full of evil people that are doing bad things to children. Well, she, and who the hell are these other people? Are these like aunts and uncles in the background she, filming she, and shit? Or? She's besmirching, besmirching the integrity and the character of every administrator in that school. She's painting with a broad brush that they're all just terrible people that don't care about children. And she's screaming it from the highest mountaintop. It's just, it's just insane that this is what they do. And here's the thing. If her daughter got hit with a stray bullet by some pookie shooting at some other pookie over like five bucks, she would be like, I forgive. We just got to stop this. I forgive whoever did it. We just got to stop this. We, she we forgives them before the blood droplets hits the pavement. <laughs> and that's part of the problem, too, is she has poisoned the mind of that little girl. Yeah, this little girl's going to grow up and be a fucking activist. Because I don't know if he'll do it again because no one really, like, said if he was going to be in that much trouble. We asked the school district whether they're taking disciplinary action against the other student, but we're told they cannot make that information public. Reporting in Santa Ana, Jessica Danova, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get Christ, man. <sighs> Y'all are exhausting, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Y'all just, they just, some people just wear you out. <laughs> Y'all wear people out, man. Like, damn. Can we get a, can a bird get a break from y'all? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Golly, man.